Hey everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. Last week, NASA successfully launched and tested its next generation manned spacecraft. Perched atop a Delta IV heavy rocket, the Orion spacecraft was lifted to an altitude of 3,600 miles, experienced temperatures as high as 4,000 degrees Fahrenheit, and reached a top speed of around 20,000 miles per hour before returning to Earth, splashing down right on target in the Pacific Ocean several hundred miles west of California. NASA is building Orion to carry astronauts farther than they have ever gone. Even though last week's test was unmanned, it still marked the first time a spacecraft designed to carry humans has flown higher than low Earth orbit since the Apollo program ended in the early 1970s. And for those of us who are eager to see the American manned space program get rolling again, it will also have to do for now. The next Orion test, also unmanned, isn't scheduled to take place for another three years. Next up, a newly developed compound has been proven effective at eliminating malaria parasites from infected bloodstreams. The compound is the product of years of collaborative international research led by St. Jude Children's Hospital in Memphis, Tennessee. Scientists sequenced the genome of the malaria parasite Plasmodium falciparum and discovered a way to disrupt the function of a crucial protein within the parasite. The compound causes red blood cells infected with malaria to shrink and change shape, triggering the immune system to attack and destroy the infected cells. In mouse trials, a single dose of the compound resulted in the destruction of 80% of malaria parasites within 24 hours and 100% of detectable parasites within 48 hours. Planning is underway for the first human trials, and given that malaria still kills an estimated 600,000 people a year, according to the World Health Organization, this promising treatment is very good news indeed. The study is published in the journal Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. And finally, the last week has seen a pair of exciting announcements regarding breakthroughs in solar power. First, researchers at the University of Toronto have invented a kind of spray-on solar cells that have the potential to transform almost any solid surface into a solar power generator. Best of all, the spraying mechanism is inexpensive and easy to build. The U of T researchers made the prototype using a spray nozzle from a steel mill and some airbrushes purchased at an art store. Second, researchers at the University of New South Wales have set a new record in solar energy efficiency, constructing a solar energy system that converts 40% of the sunlight that hits it into electricity. That might not sound very efficient, but consider that the maximum efficiency of standard solar cells is around 30%, and the solar cells that are widely commercially available are typically between 10 and 20% efficient. Reaching 40% is actually kind of a big deal. Papers describing the University of Toronto's spray-on solar technology have recently been published in the journals Advanced Materials and Applied Physics Letters, and the paper outlining the 40% efficient solar system designed at UNSW is soon to be published in the journal Progress in Photovoltaics. The spacecraft NASA will use to send humans to Mars passes its first test. A new drug can clear blood of malaria infection in 48 hours, and researchers from two continents announce a pair of promising developments in solar energy. Yes! That's the good news, no matter what she says. You're awful mouthy today.